And Lydia Ko with her second. With a little eight iron from 139. Slight downhill lie, which might have led to this one being a little right. There. A little pitching wedge from 116 yards. Slight downhill lie. Very low. This is 112 yards remaining. A little down breeze. Green's pretty firm. Yeah, big first bounce. And Lydia Coe's third. Drove it under the lip of a fairway bunker. The second hole in a row. Had a nice little uphill lie there to play at one check and release. Lydia Coe now with uh, Pro Tracer technology. That was another straight one. Yeah, good one. That's not unusual. Right side of the fairway. Here he listened to players too and changed some of the things that they thought should be changed. Co. That was an easy six iron for Lydia. Very good line. It's not too much. It's a beautiful shot. One of the better shots that we have seen. Lydia Co. is going to have a crack at the 15th and two. Might be out of reach. 259 all the way to the hole. 230 front, trying to chase something up there. Drifting to the right side of the fairway should be really good. Behind it, Lydia Ko, her second. 82 yards into the breeze. Last one from this distance was short and right. This is on a good line. Oh, I guess so. Wow. I think that actually hurt her there, hitting the flag. Move there from Lydia. Yes, it is. And a good tee shot, one of the best we've seen. We'll, all, we'll roll all the way down into that area. I would think at this point you'd better be firing at the pins if you're going to catch Say Young, though. Yeah, that's for sure. Uh, 12. She really needs to take advantage of one here, Tom. That looks a pretty good line. It is on a good line. It's going up the right side to the right side of the green. Yeah. Oh, it just took a soft bounce. It's going to stay on the fringe. She has six iron to this pin that's cut only four paces off the right. Her caddy, Jason, said that they really need to try to take advantage of these par threes, even though they're playing a little tougher today. Well, let's stop. Yes, it will. 15th tee, Lydia Ko. She's only missed two fairways today. She's, this is another one. She has a very good chance of making eagle here with this back left hole location. Yeah, another good drive, as you say. It's her second to the par five. She has three wood off a down slope lie. You can expect this three wood to come out a little lower and hopefully chase up onto the green. Third bounce there, but it's going to trundle all the way back over the green. Stay right there. She sometimes carries a 20 hybrid, and she goes back and forth with those two clubs in the bag, and she's going with the five wood this week. She's trying to post those birdies coming in and see what happens. Three in a row for her. John, need water? No. Okay. Good. More of a reality. She's currently inside the number. Cole well positioned at 16. Sandwich. It's just a little one. She birdied this hole in the second and third round this week. 17th. 149, she has seven iron to this back hole location. I asked her what the difference was between the first two days and yesterday. She said she was just a little bit sharper yesterday, hitting it a little closer, giving herself more chances for birdie. She's done it there. In the world, Lydia Ko on the tee at 18. Judy, you mentioned that setting sun. She's just picking two towers on the JW Marriott for her target. I think she just she, split she them split also, them. Nicole. <laughs> <laughs> she tends to do that often, I would say. That was terrific look. On this hole, in a sense, almost deflated, thinking she has no chance. This was an eight iron, slight breeze into her from 133. 
and it depends on your perspective.